I didn't expect such I don't know I didn't expect it and I didn't even think about it so he's way ahead on me um, he's still getting mass helions he's got one tank he has siege and he's setting up his third so he's got a lot on me and he's if you can see what he's doing here he's scouting every single expansion so he's really smart whereas I'm just flitting around with my Vikings and not doing anything I know he's got he's got barely any anti-air he's got a Viking so I have the control of the airs right now but I didn't attack uh, his hidden expansion over here which if I did it would have been crucial because I could have stopped him from getting a lot of minerals anyways um, I'm setting up this little mini contain with my units and I've got three tanks over here uh, one of them's damaged so essentially it's not really a contain or anything I've got a hit tank here my units are just really scattered I, and if you can see my mineral patches there's not as nearly as many SCVs as this I mean he's got I, how do you see how many I don't know but he's got a lot this is 24 plus 4 4 15 39 and overall I've only got 34 so he's got so many more SCVs than me and he's just got me beat over here anyways I scout him and he's got a fair amount of Vikings he's got four Vikings now and I've only got four so if he attacked me with his Vikings he would easily be able to defeat me actually nope we'd be tied probably he's a little damaged but that's about it um, my Vikings are just floating around because if you look at me my vision I still I don't know if he, if he has got his natural up and I never even scouted this position it's unscouted um, and so here he comes with his attack he's moving out and he's got um, such a bigger massive force than me I've spent my whole time building up my economy I've got six Vikings six siege tanks and he's got this massive force uh, if you look at this and so he takes out my force and immediately he goes Immediately he goes and he starts setting up a contain outside my base. Uh, if he attacked at this point, and I just want to say, well, I guess it's a spoiler, but if he attacked at this point, he would have easily overwhelmed me because I, uh, I have three factories and I'm upgrading, but I only have, um, he's got no upgrades, but I have one tank guarding my base right now. So I take, take out his Vikings. I've got six, and so this one hidden tank comes in handy, but he could have so easily taken it out it was just I have barely any units um, I have stopped my SCV production uh, because I'm I don't know why I'm running low on gas and so I started defending my own base and I keep hunting down his Vikings uh, he just built some and I took it out and I can do a little harass here myself um, and I realized yet I see these siege tanks so <laughs> it was really dumb of me to drop them but I catch them in the end and each and here's his mistake. He has so many minerals, so he can lay down so many more barracks, but he isn't. And he's also just he's just always building uh, two marauders at each um, uh, barracks, which is just really slow and not economically uh, efficient. Anyways, he's still building a crapload of SCVs. And at this point, I'm gonna do a little hunting. I did. I took out three SCVs, which is better than nothing. And only now after I harass this do I scout down here and I realize oh my goodness he has a hidden base and but look at the mineral patches he has already min mined out so much more than a thousand minerals and so I'm a f able to take out this base take out his two mules uh, and I start floating my vikings again once they get hurt as the SCVs cannot attack air so I take out this expansion and he's down he's still 10 SCVs ahead and look at this massive force if you look at the unit count uh, where's resources he's got 50 more population than me so he's still way ahead at this point um, I'm still pumping out a lot of tanks he's got a lot more than and I wanted to do a drop over here uh, with my two tanks but he sends his Viking over here right when I do so I start running with this uh, running with my two tanks and now I'm moving again because I realized he wasn't following me so um and as I'm moving along I'm just moving along this path over here from here to here to here and I just keep catching his expansions and he is expanding like crazy he's he's really good at macro um his APM might not be too high uh, it's around 100 mine's around 171 
but he is very macro minded and he is a you know he might not have too much too many APM but he puts some good use I guess let me see for a sec uh, he's got still has two barracks so I mean he's very maybe not macro minded maybe he's just greedy because he isn't doing anything with his uh, he isn't doing anything with his uh, all his money look he's got little gas he's got a lot of minerals but he isn't doing anything with them because he has built two barracks, oh, three barracks, and now he's putting up a fusion core to build battle cruisers. But he doesn't even have the reactor, or not reactor, tech lab on one starport. Um, and now I put my, I, I'm able to drop my original two tanks that I was floating around over here. I drop them off here, and I can do a lot of damage with this. Um, and my APM spikes. I don't know why, but um, I'm able to carefully guard this base and now I stop his expansion reduce him to one base uh, one mineral and he's barely got any money coming in now his income is finally less than mine uh, and I realize he's doing a drop and I take out um, a fair amount of his units and I almost it was I mean he lost a lot of units right there but I also lost my two tanks I was doing a lot of harass with him it was going very successfully and now uh, he's still sitting outside my base and I'm building Thor's because I've got a lot of money I've mining out of uh, one base still where's my Vikings over here I've lost I have four Vikings left um, and if you look at oh and his income is is higher than mine again because oh because he got his base back uh, if we look at resources Population. I took down his population a lot because his population was greater than mine. A large proportion of it was SCVs. Now it's pretty similar. Um, and I'm coming with my Vikings for more harass again. I think it's really important to get the gas, which is what I was uh, had in mind. Um, I know that for Terrans, especially personally speaking, I always run into gas issues, just running out of just not ha having not enough gas. So I was careful to, you know, I, I was minded to take out his gas. And by taking out his gas, I knew that he was going to have some issues. Anyways, I lose my Viking over here. Vikings uh, doing some harass. But um, it was alright for me. I, I didn't even mind it anymore. I've got three more Vikings at base. And I do a drop over here. Uh, because I knew that, um, he, first of all, I was right next to his back entrance. And he's got little he can do against tanks. Because uh, without air... It's really difficult to take out uh, a massive tank army, and now I'm sending even more reinforcements. While he, on the other hand, unseized all his tanks, and he, I mean, by moving all my troops uh, across to his base, I leave my base vulnerable. And it was only whether he was going to scout it. And at this point, I see it, and I see him coming. So I siege up all my tanks, but it just wasn't going to be enough because he's got so many more units than I do over here. Uh, so he easily overwhelms my units, but on the other hand, I am destroying everything he has in his base, and uh, while my army, this army, I believe could easily take out this army, uh, I should have lifted this command center. Did I lift it? No, I did not. I lift this command center and start running with it, and I run away with my SCVs. Um, I still got SCVs over here, but I've taken out his base. Uh, if you look, he's got population 61. I've still got 106. It's because my army is so much more massive than his. Um, I'm able to take him out. I have, and he's only starting mining here, but I still have uh, my Vikings over here. I can still fly around. Vikings are very good for this. Just running around and harassing mineral line because they can fly over everything and I do a little attack and just fly away again. And so I've got my army set up. I've got all my SCVs running away because I've got my command center floating to go down where his is. Uh, and I've got another command center over here ready to set up an expansion because he can't do anything about it because he doesn't have control of the air. So it was very crucial. And you see I'm building a lot of Vikings because I know how important the Vikings are to getting uh, a successful army up. Because without Vikings he can't do much damage to what I have. And so he's still got a lot of money. He's still in that command centers all over the place. But now he has lost because of my army uh, is much larger than this. And I've got plus two. Plus, Thors are incredibly effective against tanks. Uh, they demolished them in three hits? Two hits. 
do 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 two hits. And I've got siege tanks in the back. So even though he has the shield my army over here, I've still got my supply depots uh, intact for the moment. I've got he's got a Viking here. He did completely forgot. I dropped off a Thor over here to do some damage, um, which is doing a lot of damage. Boo boo. And so I set up my expansion over here, and I set up an expansion over here as well. Uh, set up my mules, and so my next thought is is to check his expansion for um, uh, check his expansions because I have got these this half covered so I figured he might be expanding over here and that is that I found his expansions and um, he's got nothing left so and that's GG 